So since COVID, so many of my clients work from home. Yeah. Talk to me about the tax ramifications for something like that. Yeah, people don't realize that their primary residence can have business use in it, right? They have an in-home office. They rent out a bedroom on Airbnb to traveling nurses. They have an ADU in the backyard they rent out, right? That's a business use in the property, right? You take depreciation on the property. So when you sell a primary residence, by the way, that two fifty dollars and $500,000 exclusion you all have heard about is called Section 121 of the Internal Revenue Code. That section code um, allows for capital gain not to have to be paid, but it doesn't uh, it doesn't get rid of the depreciation recapture. So there will be a tax if you sell a primary residence that you've been depreciating. You can do a 1031 on that portion, right? Okay. It's eligible. The business use portion. So if you depreciate 15% of the house, then 15% of the sales price can actually flow through a 1031. So you'd be, you wouldn't have to pay that recapture of depreciation and capital gains tax. What if that was $50,000 and it would be hard to find a property for something like that? Would you have a backup plan? Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, you might be buying another primary and going to have another in-home office, right? So the 1031 might work on your primary. Otherwise, if it doesn't... To use this part of your down payment? Exactly. Otherwise, it might be just, okay, you're going to buy a small condo in Missouri, right? So, so you, there's other options you have to... to to get rid of the $50,000 of depreciation recapture. Wow. 